Hello, that one guy named Aaron. Or should I say a Aaron? On the recommendation of some interesting stuff here. Here's a fun little one that was sent to me on a developer. At least whose publishers um, uh, think that his game is way too violent. So, gotta see what that one is about. So I've been in discussions with a potential publisher regarding my game Blood and Mead. Now they sent me an interesting email which I'd like to read to you. Hi John, after consultation with the team, we'd like to request a dial down of the game's violence, as we feel the game could appeal to a wider audience. Let me know your thoughts. Well, my... Well, damn, uh, this is the kind of message uh, from Black Prism there that this developer most certainly should have gotten. Thank you, man. I, ap I appreciate that. Michael, hello. Now, I have thought about your request, and it did strike me as a little bit odd because the game is, of course, called Blood and Mead, and the combat gore has become a bit of a staple signature hook of the game. <laughs> <laughs> but with that said, I do agree that the dial on this violence could be adjusted ever so slightly. So I've made some changes that I'd like to propose to you. Firstly, with the right skill level, you can now perform an execution. <laughs> and then you can play with their head like a soccer ball. Messi, give it to him and pray. Perfect for unlocking doors, but I'm not done. Let's get up this ladder and zip line down here. So in the last video, I revealed a shield throw. Yikes. It's not very effective, but you see I've added a new shield. <laughs> this one here is called Razor Fang. What a mad lad. So Michael, consider that my... I like how he goes out of his way to be like, hey, so you understand that the point of my game is quite literally the violence that you're advocating against. <laughs> That's very good. My official response and the conclusion to our discussions. It's literally called blood and meat. What else would you expect? <laughs> yeah. I, I could see that as a good response. This one, uh, th there's another one there that was sent to me called Kingmaker. The thumbnail is amazing. I see knights here with guns. Want to want to see this one too? We don't know where he came from, but I'll tell you, he built our village into a city. He's the one who trained our army, who grew us into an empire. I don't know where he's from. Is it the Builder? But if you think you can stop him, you're already dead. Wait, hold on, what? <laughs> Dude, pulled out a piece. Okay, that's great. It's straight up isekai. Yes, it's literally that. <laughs> What's going on? I like this. I like this era of uh, people finding actual metas to include in their games. Palwell has the whole thing with uh, Pokemon with guns. And this one's like, oh, how about we do the thing with... Uh, what's his name again? Oh my god, the, the movie, The Black Knight. Have any of you seen this movie? <laughs> Literally, a black dude gets sent back in time to become a knight. <laughs> I love this. Creative Assembly, Take Notes, also, uh, what's it called? A Sega. 
Look, this is what we wanted with Total Warhammer, okay? <laughs> For the Total War games, please give us this. This is smart. He gave our people a future. Holy shit. I hope he can save his own. I beg your pardon? <laughs> Dude. Yo, add it to the wish list already.